between pooping genetically modified pigs, carbon markets rebound from crisis, and the dirty truth about the colour green. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Tuesday, April 6. Canada has just approved a limited production of the EnviroPig, a genetically modified breed of pig which produces cleaner manure, containing 65% less phosphorus. The runoff of phosphorus in animal waste into surface waters can create invasive algae blooms, spurring dead zones in the ocean incapable of supporting marine life. While it may take years before genetically modified pigs are available for human consumption, fear of these so-called Franken-pigs is already widespread. But rising fears of oceanic dead zones have experts worried enough to leave no potential solution overlooked. And now here's Nick Astor with BizTalk. This week on Triple Pundit, we focused on the carbon trading markets. Things haven't been looking great for the carbon trading markets as of late, with a series of criminal investigations and auditing scandals underway. But a silver lining has emerged, with some arguing that the putting away of a few bad apples implies that the regulatory process is in fact working. In the words of Peter Fusaro, a well-known green markets expert, it's the green economy, stupid. Thanks, Nick. And finally, the New York Times reports that the colour green can never be green because of the way it's made. Green is such a difficult colour to manufacture that toxic substances are often used to stabilise it. Rather ironically, this means that green coloured plastic and paper cannot be recycled or composted safely because they could contaminate everything else. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.